You know, you've written a remarkable book, an accessible book, with videos and so forth. An introduction to constitutional law, 100 Supreme Court cases everyone should know. I think this is crucially important. I've had you on my radio show, we've talked about it and so forth. So if people really want to get into the Constitution, want to get into what the Supreme Court says about the Constitution. Is that why you wrote it? Yeah, and what the Supreme Court says about the Constitution is not the same as the Constitution. My book, Restoring the Lost Constitution, is about that. This is a book about what the Supreme Court has said, for better and worse, and oftentimes for worse. And we basically identify the 100 Supreme Court cases that everyone should know. We discuss each one of them in very, very short chapters, something that's adoptable to the general public, to homeschoolers, to college students, and we have a video that's multimedia for all the hundred. We have 63 videos, and when you buy the book, you get a scratch-off code on the inside cover that gives you access to the 63 videos that we spent two years making that illustrate all of these cases with multimedia. We have oral links, we have excerpts from oral arguments, the audio, we, the, the justices do their own hand-down statements, we have them reading their own opinions in their own words and pictures and graphs. This makes constitutional law, not the Constitution so much, the constitutional law come alive. And now you'll understand what constitute, you take, you read this book and you'll know more than what most lawyers who graduated from law school know about the Constitution. And probably more than most House managers in an impeachment trial. <laughs> An introduction to constitutional 100 Supreme Court cases everyone should know. Very, very briefly, was it tough to pick the 100? Actually not. It, it was it, it basically, these are the basic cases, and these are the cases that are in 80 to 90 percent of all constitutional law courses. A lot of conservatives, libertarians believe in originalism. In one sentence, what's originalism? Originalism is the view that the meaning of the Constitution should remain the same until it's properly changed by amendment. That's all it is. And there's another sentence which says why originalism, and that is the Constitution is not the law that governs us, Mark. The Constitution is the law that governs those who govern us, and they shouldn't be able to change the meaning of the law that governs them without going through the amendment process any more than you and I can change the, the laws that they make to govern us without going through the legislative process. Beautifully put. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. God bless you.